Hey guys, it's Louise here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here, I'm back from Star Wars Celebration. Um, and we're here with episode 7 of The Mandalorian, season 3, episode 7. We're almost at the end, guys. Next week is the finale and I'm very excited and very nervous. I will let you guys know, though, however, I have seen 8 minutes of this episode. Um, at the Lucasfilm panel on Friday of Star Wars Celebration, they gave us a little sneak peek, a little scene from this episode um so you know there may be some scenes where i'll be like you know you'll expect like a reaction from me at a specific name drop i don't know if it gets mentioned before this or after this or which part of the episode it is specifically but um there is a name drop in that and i have seen that so if i don't get excited about it i mean i'm still gonna get excited but um i have already seen eight minutes of this footage um which was pretty cool i did get the option to watch the entire episode um later on that day but i decided not to because i wanted to watch it with you guys as much as it would have been incredible to watch it with 4500 other people uh and be able to react with a bunch of star wars people around me uh i wanted to save it for you guys um so let's get into the episode i'm really excited i've heard it's a very good one and i mean from the the, the eight minutes that i saw it it was pretty impressive so let's let's get into the episode but i'm so excited i'm in such like a star wars hype at the minute i'm like uh, uh. also i met i met i met katie sackoff this weekend and she is lovely she is so the lovely. I've come to reclaim my okay, so I did see the first eight minutes. Okay, so this is this is starting from the scene that I saw. Okay, so first eight minutes of this I have already witnessed, but I was so excited to watch it again. Also, seeing this on like the big screen was insane, like incredible. God, he is huge. Oh my gosh. Ah. Come on, show us. Show us. Show us. There he is. Oh, the entire like room erupted at this point. Everyone was like, ah! I'm so happy to have him back. I love him so much. Oh. The sound in this, the music. Look at these guys, these trooper dudes. These are awesome looking. The New Republic is vulnerable. Commander, your hit and run operations are gaining too much notice. If we are perceived as anything, the Grand Admiral Thrawn's return will herald in the re-emergence of our military. <laughs> and provide Commandant Hux. Enough time. Not enough people appreciated this. Not enough people appreciated Hux. I assume it's maybe like his dad, like Admiral you Hux's dad or something, but. And yet, I see. Perhaps it's time we look. Once again, this part had everyone just yeah. yelling. Like every mention of his name, everyone was like, yeah! <laughs> Okay, so his name is Brandol Hux. Okay, so apparently it is it is uh, Admiral Hux's dad. Cool. Long live the Empire. Oh. And the spies. We have a spy, do we? Was that the mythosaur design underneath the ship? I didn't see it enough. Look at the markings. It is. Oh, that's so cool. I'll bet you have. Not as cool as the, chim the chimera. But almost, that's almost as cool. I should hope so. And she told Bo to go collect more Mandalorians. I don't know if she was expecting this many this early. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. They've never met. And what little they know of each other, they hate. I love how Grogu is just on her lap. That's so cute. 
Oh my goodness, there's so many. Oh my goodness, there really is a lot of them, isn't there? Oh, oh. This is not the way. This is not the way. That's not the only gift I have for you. No. <gasps> well, what did you do to IG-11? Oh, no, that's IG-12 now. No! Do like him? IG-11! Do I like him? Don't worry. He's safe. <laughs> Uh-oh. Squeezy! Squeezy baby! <laughs> more like a vehicle. Oh, he's on his way. Oh, he's on his way. Bad baby. Bad baby. <laughs> well, he's too little to operate this. No, 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 no. Well, let's see if he fits. Oh my god, we're putting Grogu in it. Oh my god. Grogu is too young to operate heavy machinery. Maybe when he's older. No. Oh. What do you mean, no? No. I think he's saying he's old enough to operate. He's communicating. Yes. <gasps> he's saying words, but not well, speaking them. Out my office. Yes. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Grogu. Why? He's yes. loving it. Yes, what? This is incredible. Yes. 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 <laughs> Grogu, stop stealing food. What are you doing? <laughs> stop. Grogu, no. Get the paper boss. Yes. Hey, Grogu, no. Give it no. Grogu, give it back. <laughs> Oh, he's such a little shit. <laughs> so do we think that Koska and uh, Axe are like the spies? Wow, enthusiastic, guys. I will go. Grogu as well. <laughs> Grogu's like, bitch? Why me? I will go. I will go. <laughs> as soon as Pa saw him stand up, he was like, no, I'm going to. I'm going. <laughs> I will go. This means now that we've got some spies and we're on our way to Mandalore, <sighs> everything's gonna get fucked up. Moff Gideon's gonna be on his way. Or maybe he's already there waiting for them. That must be so surreal to see. It's worse than I thought. Yeah. I was here when it happened. I'm so glad we've got IG back, even if it's in a very different way. What on earth is this? You have food. Is that the voice of Lady Bokasan screaming? It is. Damn. We knew you would not forsake us, Lady Bokatan. So these are the spies, for sure. I met with Moth Gideon. The ISB had reached out to me to negotiate a ceasefire. 
ISB, ISB. In exchange for submitting to the Empire, one step closer to Kalos. All remaining cities in Mandalorian. And then he betrayed me, and we were helpless to resist the purge of Mandalore. I don't know if I can keep everyone together. There's too much animosity. And this blade is all I have to unify our people. And the Mythosaur potential. I don't know if this weapon, what you taught me. To be honest, it means nothing to me or my people, nor does station or bloodline. What means more to me is honor and loyalty and character. These are the reasons I serve you, Lady Kreez. In. Is not yet written. I will serve you until it is. She's seeing the respect that everyone has for her. This the respect that she deserves. We can bring you there. Oh. Still kind of suspicious. The thing is, these guys actually look really cool, so I hope like I hope they're not the spies. I hope there's just a couple of spies like within like the other fleet. But like these guys seem kinda cool. Damn, he's a competitive gamer, huh? Oh. He just wanted an excuse to punch the shit out of him. I kind of want Vizsla to win, honestly. I prefer him over Axe. Damn, Grogu! Is the Mythosaur gonna pop out? Whoa! Big dino! Whoa! It's like an Ankylosaurus! Let me see it again, I wanna see it. Jetpacks. More survivors. Those aren't Mandalorians. Oh God. Those are Gideon's little trooper things. Take cover. Whoa. They look They look so cool. We're pinned down. We need backup. I'll lay down cover. I mean, he's pretty good cover. Oh, I love their design so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice. You know, part of me kind of wishes that Boba Fett was here for this as well. Just, just part of me wishes he was here. What is this place? Oh my god. <gasps> they have this entire place locked on. Din! Din! No! The spikes. Is he? Disarm him. Dude, is Moff getting a Maldalorian, or is it just a helmet design that he went for? Dude, he looks insane. Whoa! 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 Mandalore will live on. 
Thanks to your planet's rich resources, I have created the next generation dark trooper suit, forged from Beskar alloy. I will create an army that will bring order to the galaxy. Activate the interceptors and bombers. No! Okay, the TIE bombers look really, really cool, but also, what the fuck? This is scary. I believe this is the part where you return the Dark Saber to its rightful home. Bitch, no. To tell these people that this planet is mine. Not gonna work this time, buddy boy. This is the way. Let's go, Bo! Open the blast door. Come on, Vizsla, you got this, buddy. Come on. We're not leaving you behind. Go. There are too many. No! This is the way. He'll be fine. He'll be okay. I don't know why I'm getting worried about him. I didn't really like him that much, but... He is still cool. And we need a heavy on our team. Dude, your weapon your weapon is heating up. Oh. Nice way to use it. Dude, he's so badass. Imperial guards. Holy shit. No! What the fuck? No! What? <laughs> God damn! <laughs> that is the cutest art I've ever seen. Oh my god, I'm in love. So the guy who plays Brandel Hux is Brian Gleason. So I'm assuming that's Domhnall Gleason's brother? So Hux's IRL brother is playing his in-show dad. <laughs> Uh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, they're brothers. That's so cool. <laughs> That's awesome. It's good to see Taika back again for IG-12. No, he's got two IG droids. That's pretty impressive. Um, I I'm, I'm here. Even though it's, he's, it's just him saying yes, yes, no, no. I'm here for it. I am so here for it. Well, that was a hell of an episode for sure. Um, people weren't wrong when they said that it was absolutely crazy. I can imagine being in the panel for this and watching the entire episode. That must have been such an incredible experience. That was such a good episode. That is... I, I, I don't have, even have the words for it. Moff Gideon is so cool. I love him so much. And his helmet and his armor and everything. Um, my... Sorry, my headset is shouting at me because the battery's low. Um... So yeah, and his his trooper his troopers were really cool. Do the, do the, the white troopers? Do they have a name? Do we have a name for those specific ones? I don't know if we do. Um, but then like the 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 guards and stuff came down and their weapons and they were incredibly cool. Um, it is quite sad to see Paz Vizsla. Um, it, it is quite sad to see him die. Uh, because he was like as much as I had my issues with him, not so much issues. It's just a case of he wasn't really my favorite. Um, but I did always say that he was badass because he was, he's a heavy Mando. Like, that's really cool. Um, like, I love all the heavy characters that we see. Like, I love all the heavy clones. So having like a heavy trooper was really, really cool. Or sorry, a heavy Mando was really, really cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of sad. Now Ragnar is good. That, I feel bad for Ragnar, man. I feel so bad. But maybe that'll give Ragnar a, a bit of a... Like, 
I must get revenge. Um, and he'll just go crazy, even though he's just a kid right now. But, you know, kids can be pretty crazy. Um, we saw Grogu get a little... Uh, well, maybe not a little, but a hell of an upgrade. Mans is now driving IG-12, as we call him. I still like to think he's IG-11, but technically I know he's not. So we're going to stick with IG-12. But... I loved, I absolutely loved seeing Grogu, like, having this new mode of transport and this new way of communication. It's like, yeah, he may only be able to say yes or no, but it means that he is still communicating. He does understand words and, you know, I, I just thought it was really adorable. I thought it was really cute. And... I don't know what the future holds for Grogu at this point. Like, whether, like a lot of people are saying that he will be the one to tame the Mythosaur. And I do think that'll be very cool because obviously with the Force, he can tame animals. That's what he does. Um, also, I do want to say, I want to see more of that dinosaur. That fucking dinosaur on Mandalore was so cool and we barely got to see him. I want to see more of him. I want to see like a... A, like character design like sheet or something oh I, I need to see art of him because that was really really cool but yeah I, I a lot a lot happened a lot went on um i'm now wondering like now that we have din captured i'm like and we've got like the season finale next week so i'm wondering like are we gonna get like a bunch of people to group up and go save him like can we get boba fett black chrysanthemum ahsoka maybe i don't i i, I don't know um can we get a bunch of people? Can we get, like, Fan Rao in? Like, because I know people were like, oh, I wonder if Fan Rao is going to show up. It'd be really cool if Fan Rao showed up. I don't know where he would just randomly come from. Although maybe, like, if Ahsoka turns up, maybe she'll still have a connection to Fan Rao in some way. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, I want to see more Boba. I think Boba should have had an appearance in this season. And I'm quite sad that he didn't. So I feel... Maybe, like, I'd like them to go to him for help. Um... I think that'll be very cool. Uh, whether we see Din rescued next, like, in the finale, or, you know, what, I, I don't know. I don't know. We've only got one episode left, and I'm stressed about it. I hope it's a long episode. Um, man, I, I don't... Uh, the, the, the Thrawn name drop at the beginning, like I said, I already saw that part, but it was still insane to hear Grand Admiral Th Thrawn mentioned in live action, like, in something that isn't Rebels. Like, it's insane. Like, now that we've seen the Ahsoka trailer and stuff and we know that Thrawn is there, it just makes it all so much more real. Like, it's not just a name drop. We are gonna see him. Maybe not in The Mandalorian, but we are gonna see him in Ahsoka in August, and that is crazy. On that note, if you guys would like to uh, hear my thoughts on Ahsoka, because I cannot, unfortunately, react to the trailer... Uh, I'm going to be doing a review recap, kind of talking about the Ahsoka trailer and the the exclusive second trailer that I got to see as well. Um, I will be making a whole video on that. I'll be making a review video on the Bad Batch panel. I'll be making a review video on everything I saw at Star Wars Celebration, including Acolyte, Skeleton Crew, all that kind of stuff. So I'll talk about that in another video. But if you'd like to see that, then I will be talking about Thrawn in my Ahsoka video. So you can go check that out. Um... Yeah, this episode was absolutely wild, and Bo-Katan just absolutely killed it once more. Like, she is forever a queen, and I love everything that she does. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope you guys are ready and prepared for next week, because I'm certainly not. I am not ready. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. So peace, and may the Force be with you.